Hello, I'm Cindy Elliott from iceability.com. Welcome. Today I'm sitting on the floor because school's been in a couple weeks here for us and I've already seen some things in circles that I would like to talk about. So what I want to talk about is everybody comes into circle in our preschools and they sit and the teachers are saying crisscross, hands in your lap or, or sit, um, sit on your bottom, um, things like that. And what I notice is most of the kids can do that. Many of them can. But I do notice a few kids that start to sit and pretty soon they're like this and then pretty soon they're like this and then pretty soon their eyes are closed and they're rocking and they're doing all of this as they are trying to attend to the teacher but they're getting sleepy and they're they're tired and then they start to fidget and then what I see is they start to move to maybe they're gonna they move like this or maybe they even do the dreaded on the belly I don't think that's a dreaded thing but I've seen uh, teachers say I want you to sit on your bottom and I want you to crisscross your legs and I've also heard words like well we learn best when we're sitting up but I have to disagree because we all don't learn the same way and some of us really need to move and if we're not moving move to learn or listen but if we can't move then we need to engage a lot of nerves and so those will be the kids that once they're sitting like this and they're getting tired because they're falling asleep because nothing is happening there's no like nerves firing they can't move and if you don't move some of us fall asleep we we, we shut down we don't listen we don't hear so honestly the opposite is true for some people that sitting up does not help you to learn what helps some kids to learn is they have to again be moving so you know I talked about this disc sit where they can sit on it and they can move and what does this hurt so they could be in circle and they can be moving like this they're sitting how you want so if you do need them to be crisscross give them something to move what this also does is it allows them to be able to arch their back because when you extend you are firing a lot more nerves an extension position is going to make you more alert and it's going to wake you up you know it gets you ready and if you don't have that and you're folding forward that's a flexion position and flexion encourages relaxation that's why we get in the fetal position when we've had a horrible moment right or we need a, a day and, and we we curl up because we want to relax and there are kids that if you have them relax they're gonna fall asleep they're not gonna pay attention so allow them to have this disc sit so that they can sit up or they can like I said move back and forth what does this hurt this helps them they're alert they're moving oh they are so ready to learn I already feel more alert when I'm like this again I use this at my desk so allow these things if you want them to be crisscross and sitting in their seat or sitting in their spot other things you can do are why don't you allow them to be on their belly I mean younger kids I've lined them all up in a circle on their bellies and did a, did a story in the middle like that's okay and again that is firing a lot of nerves it is um, it's causing a lot of extension and so I have to demo it I guess for you so when I'm on my belly I'm extending my back I'm extending I'm firing a lot of nerves so what does that hurt also it strengthens their back so they can have better posture anyway there's nothing wrong with that other things to support sitting I think that fidgeting is okay you'll have to have a discussion with them but maybe they could have a basket and, and they can fidget but the rule is I have to have your eyes so you hit those kids that need to be busier so here they are in a disc sit and they're fidgeting if you don't like these kind of animals or something like this pass around this rubber band ball and they each get a rubber band and they put it on their wrist but the rule is it stays on their wrist but they can fidget so you you know you're gonna have to establish some rules if you have fidgets because you know these rubber bands you know what we used to do so you know I'm just giving you some tips and you will have to still use classroom management but at least it gives you options for these kids that are sitting I, um, sometimes I'm in a circle and they're 20 minutes long that's a long time 
So I asked you, we've been going for what, five minutes now? What if I had you sit crisscross and paying total attention to me? And some of you are gonna fall asleep. I know some of you are walking around, some of you are pacing, some of you are just moving around, kicking your legs, all of those things. So allow your kids that same opportunity. Uh, another thing that helps kids, um, if you want to put some weight in their lap, you're firing nerves in their legs. And so they, this is a weighted bear. You've seen this before. Also, we have these weighted lap pads. So why not one on each leg? Um, these are just weighted pellets. And so they add weight. It makes me feel a little grounded. And um, I can also have these on as I'm on the disc sit. I mean, these are all tools you can enter change and so I just wanted to do a little ditty on sitting in circle um, I don't believe that sitting is the is always the best way to learn for all kids like sitting up sitting crisscross just that makes it look like they're paying attention to you but but they, they might be needing to move and they'll be their nerves will be fire their brain will be firing better and they actually will be taking in the lesson so I know it's a big push to ask you to kind of change some things but just consider the body and what it's asking of you to, to observe. So again, uh, thanks for joining me and thank you so much for working with kids and good luck with everything.